everyone, what's going on? It's the Elite Master here and today I'll be taking a look at this new B&M Dot 2020 Summer Wave line. This is a friends and foe of the 13th Doctor set. This set comprises of three, three figures and that is uh, Yasmin Khan, Ryan Sinclair and the Jejun Trooper. Let's get into the video. And here is the set fully built up. As you can see, we've got our three figures. We've got Ryan Sinclair, Yasmin Khan, and a Jujun Trooper with his amazing Kun accessory. I'm going to take a look at each individual figure individually, but before I do, can I just draw your attention not to these, but to the box? So, as you can see, it's that classic style ish BM box. They've tweaked a bit, so instead of having the Doctor coming across there, as a doctor up here and it has a picture of the TARDIS coming around there. It's obviously it's got the title friend and photo of the 13th Doctor and it's got this very very weird limited edition sticker on here which they're not really limited as they are available in an Amazon Amazon USA and BBC America store and different places like that across the globe so it's not like exclusive to B&M and um, part of the 5.5 inch scale series you know uh, around the back you uh, you have a better look at the pictures with Juju Trooper, Brian Sinclair and Yasmin Khan have a little bit of stuff and some legal doffy stuff there the background's very very simple but it can just be simple and all it includes is a white background I'll take it out of the packaging to show you if I can there we go and that's just the background and it's just it's quite nice, it's just a plain white background. It's actually, I actually prefer this to having like a really complicated background because it gives the figures some area to breathe so you can actually see the figures instead of them like kind of blending into the background. But yeah, it's simple and nice. Let's take a look at the first figure and this is Yasmin Khan in her brown jacket from what I think might be Arachnids in the UK. I'm not that sure, they did say it's been a bit of like a bit confusion on the internet. Here's a head sculpt, it's a bit hard to get a better look at it but it's really it's really really good and it's got a lot of detail into it and it actually looks better in real life than I thought it might have been. And the hair is amazing, it comes down round here and I'm glad they chose this kind of complicated hair to do instead of just it tied up or something. It looks really nice. Um, the whole jacket uses a original sculpt from a prime evil figure I think and it just been given a nice paint job to match with her outfit and match with the colours. It looks very, very accurate. This is probably the best one in the in the line. She comes with a nice little bow and then she comes with these blue jeans. And I think that's literally it. I do have to say it feels quite sturdy and it feels quite nice. And I'm I'm actually alright with their using primeval stuff. I think some people are like, hmm, but they're using just old sculpts and everything. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that because I don't own any primeval stuff, so I'm fine with them using old sculpts on figures because it doesn't really matter that much to me. But yeah, I think this is a very well done figure and it does actually really look like Matlin Girl. I mean, look, that looks like a good angle, doesn't it? Yeah. So, I think that's it for this figure. Very good figure indeed and it goes really nicely with your Graham figure from earlier this year. She doesn't come with any accessories unfortunately, but what would I give her as an accessory? I couldn't think of something specific to Yaz that they would give for her to have an accessory. And B&M sets tend not to do so many accessories these days. I mean, they've brought some back, but I wouldn't expect this to have any accessories. Moving on for, to Ryan Sinclair, this is his costume from either Rosa or What's it called? It takes you away. So it's a bit of confusion on the internet there, but I think it's I think it's quite like Rosa to be honest. And as you can see, his head sculpt looks really really nice. It looks really look like Tos Tosin Cold, and I love the fade effect they did with the hair on top of it. It looks really really nice. The jacket's this like deep greenish colour. It's got it's like a black jacket with like a greenish wash. It's a bit hard to see on camera, but it's got a, a nice greenish wash to it. And he's got many, many pockets, which I don't know why. He's got very, very loads of pockets around his um, jacket. And he's got very, very standard legs. 
Um, so yeah, nothing too important here. I do have a bit of a complaint and that is his collar. It should be going down and it shouldn't be going up because being up, I don't know, it just doesn't look, just doesn't look right for him. And I get that they're trying to use like primeval sculpts and different stuff like that. And they probably haven't got an accurate sculpt to this, so they chose the most accurate, but it's just a bit annoying at the end of the day. Moving on to the Jadoon Trooper, he slash he does come with an accessory, and this is a brand new mould for 2020, and it's his little gun, so it's specific to the episode Fugitive of the Jadoon, and that is very, very nice. I think this Jadoon figure is actually the exact same mould as what we got in, like, what was it 2008 around that time it's a very very similar mold to that and I, I, I think it's virtually identical i think the skirt might be i don't know virtually identical my mm, i think it does have some better paint acts on it it's just hard to it's just a very very standard you doing trooper and it's it's lovely to army build it wouldn't be my first pick to have it with obviously ryan and yaz but yeah, I like it and it looks very, very nice. It's a Jadoon at the end of the day, it's a Jadoon Trooper. You're getting what you ask for. Comparing this Jadoon Trooper to my other Jadoons, he got the original ones and he got the new Commander one that came out earlier in 2020. As you can see, they use very, very similar body sculpts. Obviously, this got the hat on and that don't. But the one I really want to talk about is the classic, the original Jadoon Trooper. As you can see, they look almost virtually identical. There might be slight variation in there, but they look very, very nice and very, very identical. However, so they're good for army building. However, the old one, as you can see, has got these holes in them to put accessories in them. This new one, they've actually filled out the holes. So there's no holes, as you can see, there's no holes here. So if you've got something, say, something like this, like what you're doing to hold their gun or something you can't put it on the new one unfortunately there's no, nowhere to hold it on there but you can put it on on the old one but i think that's mainly just because the new one i think that's because the new one it doesn't come with any other accessories that you can put in here so they wouldn't put holes in there because then it would be technically incomplete i'm all right with that it's just a bit of a shame, so it can't be carrying that many guns and that, so it's not really a Jadoon Trooper. So overall, this set is very, very nice and very, very sweet. It, the price of it is £20. So that is an amazing price for three figures, because you got that Ryan, you got that Ryan from, well that's about £12, and then you got your 13th Doctor, which is £12, and then you get one, two, three for £20. And that is a really nice deal, so you can get all the companions. I would really recommend the set if you do have the Graham and the 13th Doctor figures, if you want a Yaz and Ryan figure. It's amazing, and you can also go to Doom Trooper, so you can have them fighting someone. I forgot to mention this accessory, this accessory is right there. But, yeah, overall I think it's a really nice set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I will be doing more Doctor Who reviews like these this week. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye. <laughs>